Good afternoon. We respectfully ask that no air horns, car horns, or any type of loud noisemakers be used out of respect for each graduate and their family members. At this time, could you please stand and greet our honored guests and the class of 2022 class of Pilgrim High School.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Superintendent Schools, School Committee, and the City of Warwick, I would like to welcome you all to this 60th Pilgrim High School graduation ceremony. At this time, I would like to invite Amelia Lamantia to the stage to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem by the Pilgrim High School Concert Band. Please be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Toby Gibbons, and I am honored to speak with you today. I first want to recognize our distinguished guests. Superintendent Ms. Lynn Danbrock, Assistant Superintendent Mr. William McCaffrey, and other central administrative attendees. Thank you for your guidance, support, and willingness to listen. With your thoughtfulness and singular focus on our students and what is best for them, our schools are in great hands with the leadership to embrace any challenges of the future. I would like to welcome our mayor, the Honorable Mr. Frank Bocosi, and thank him for his time and efforts to help our community strive for continual improvement. I want to recognize our school committee members, Karen Backus, Judy Cobden, Nathan Cornell, David Testa, and Kyle Adams. Your support is essential to the day-to-day -day operations of the schools on a daily basis. Thank you. Today's not, does not happen by chance, but with the efforts and hard work of lots of people. I want to start by thanking the wonderful faculty at Pilgrim High School, who I get the honor of calling my colleague every day. I would like all faculty or in attendance to stand at this time so we can formally thank them for all they do. Please stand, faculty. I would also like to thank my fellow administrators, Dr. Guerra, Ms. Bernardi, and Mr. Fairbanks. This was a difficult year for the entire Pilgrim and Warwick communities. And during the darkest of days, you showed up and did what was needed to be done while taking care of Warwick's greatest assets, the students of Pilgrim High School. Thank you for all you did and do for the graduates and how you welcomed me into the Pilgrim family. Thank you. There is zero chance today's event and all senior celebrations happen without four women who work so hard behind the scenes. Thank you to Nisa San Giovanni, Kathy Bonang and Karen Few for your efforts and attention to details which makes all of our events so special. And to my administrative assistant, Mrs. Deborah Lage, simply, you are amazing. This is her final graduation ceremony that she will be retiring in December. 
but I will not delete her cell phone number. My only hope is that she'll pick up when I call. Thanks, Deb. Graduates, 13 years of getting you out of bed, dressing you, packing lunches, going to events, sports, concerts, helping with homework, and putting you back to bed are not easy tasks. Please take a moment, stand, find your families, and applaud them for all they do to get you here today. So graduates, please stand, try to locate your families, give them a wave, give them a kiss, point out to them. Absolutely, you're allowed to sit back down. <laughs> I'm a little bit in awe as I stand here just looking out at this beautiful sight. But now it's time for me to talk to the class of 2022. If I'm being completely honest, I had a really difficult time searching for the correct words to say to you. As I wrote and rewrote paragraph after paragraph, three words were recurring in each draft. They were and are Burden, darkness, and yes. It is well documented how your journey through the hallways of Pilgrim High School is drastically different from any of the other 59 graduating classes before you. A global pandemic and the passing of your principal, Mr. Gerald Habeshaw, are two major events which thrust you into events which might have felt like something no other high school senior should have had to deal with not this type of burden or darkness. So I began to think of the word burden. Webster's Dictionary defines burden as a load, typically a heavy one. Either one of the two events stated would have caused feelings of a load too heavy to shoulder for you, and no one, not your parents, teachers, siblings, or friends, would have wished this heaviness or darkness on any of you. But you did not stay in the darkness. A quote by famous British historian Richard Evans, I think, defines who you are, and it is 